In the beginning of the movie we are shown two children who were orphans, and a man buys them and makes them his slaves, and after that a lot of oppression was done on them, so their life became very difficult. That man used to get all kinds of work done by these two, but both of them used to take care of each other. They used to cut and collect wood and then train with these wood, because they both wanted to become soldiers when they grew up. Somewhere after years of training, they was using the wood made by them very well. One day when they was training, a general sees them, and goes to the person who bought them, and the general tells him that I want one of these two to go with me because our kingdom needs such soldiers. Here the one whose name was Lee is very happy because the general has chosen his friend, and he tells his friend that you have a chance to show your fighting skills. You go with them, I am very happy. And the same night both of them were going to train for the last time, because Lee's friend was going to leave tomorrow morning. Lee tells his friend that I will try, I will also reach you one day after so much training. Lee works very hard after his friend leaves. He becomes so adept while training that he can even break a stone with his stick. One day when Lee was resting in his hut, his friend comes there whose condition was very bad. His friend tells him that our king's brother tried to kill the king. And when they came there, they attacked me only. His friend gives him a map and tells him that you will go here to that village. Where these people will give you training and after saying this much, his friend dies. After this Lee runs towards the village. But on the way he is intercepted by some robbers. And here Lee's training of so many years comes in handy. Lee kills them all and finally reaches the village whose address was given by his friend. There he sees King in a hut who looks exactly like his friend and seeing this Lee is completely shocked. King tells him that my general bought your friend because he looked exactly like me, so that we can keep our enemies in deception. Here King's brother's accomplices go there who bought Lee and his friend, and there they also come to know that they had killed King's lookalike. Now here during the talks between Lee and King, the murderer comes who had killed Lee's friend thinking him to be King. The murderer tells Lee that your friend was killed because of this King, kill this King. But Lee attacks the murderer himself because he was the one who killed Lee's friend. Now after a lot of fighting, finally Lee kills that murderer. But Lee was still angry with that king too. King tells him that your friend's sacrifice was for the whole kingdom. Because if I die then this kingdom would go to my brother who is a very cruel person. King asks Lee that will you help me to build a good army so that I can kill my brother. On the other side we are shown King's brother who was very angry, and he tells his men to send more army to kill King. Here, when King is in the woods with Lee, a man attacks King with a poison needle, but Lee fights him off and kills him. Now Lee faints because a poison needle had hit him too, but King saves him. One day a lot of army comes to him, but he was the companion of the same general who used to work for King, and general promises King that he will get him back his royal throne. Now here we see King's brother who declares himself as King in front of his army, but he still wanted to kill King. Now here King's army was much less than that of his brother, but here general tells King about hill tribes. He say that they have a very big army, we can take help from them. Now these people reach there by going through a dangerous path, but the people of hill tribe catch them and take them to their leader. King tells everything to their leader that how his brother betrayed king but the leader refuses to help them because earlier king had done a lot of atrocities on the people of hill tribe now king apologizes to him for his past mistakes due to which his leader agrees to help him when he had removed his mask then we come to know that their leader is a girl they make a plan that lee will go to the palace as king and king will stay with hill tribe and when the people of hill tribe go to the palace then they tell that them that hill tribe want to join their royal army hearing this the commander of King's brother allows him to come to his kingdom. And as soon as they come to the palace, the people of Hill Tribe attack Palace's army. King tells Lee and the general to go through the other way and himself fight with Palace's army. King kills a lot of soldiers here. On the other hand, a much better monster comes in Lee's way. But Lee kills that monster. And Lee takes his people inside the palace where King's brother is sitting on his throne. King's brother calls his companion who was very strong. But Lee also gets ready to fight without fear. Both have a very good fight because both were very good in sword fighting. After a lot of hard work, finally Lee kills King's brother's accomplice. King's brother is horrified to see his most powerful man die in front of him. He starts running but the people of Hill Tribe surround him, and King defeats his brother in a single attack. Here the general of another kingdom comes to the king and asks what was the reason for this war. King tells him that because he had betrayed me. King tell general to gather all the kingdoms of Japan so that everyone can get justice. And the general also support the king and those people were celebrating. And the people of the Hill Tribe were always ready to support the king forever. At the end of the movie, the people of Hill Tribe give a sword to Lee. Lee takes his bravery and sword and sets out on his journey to become a general. Like the video before leaving. And subscribe to the Your Demand Movie Explanation channel.